Hey, and welcome to part two of getting started with Google Smart Shopping for OpenCart. In the last video, we finished the setup and connected the app with the Google Merchant Center. And in this video, you'll learn how to work with the OpenCart extension to manage your products in Google Shopping campaigns. Okay, so this is the main dashboard of your Google Shopping extension, and this is where you track your product ad reports, campaign reports, and manage product ad settings and extension settings. These are the buttons leading to some of the general settings of your Google Shopping campaigns. The first one is the category mapping. This is in case you want to make changes to your Google product categories. The second one is for shipping and taxes, in case you want to make additional updates and changes to your taxes and shipping providers. And the third one leads you to your ad campaigns where you can manage and create new campaigns. On the right hand side, you have a few information boxes to give you more details and answers about your campaigns, and below you have an approximate preview of how your ads will look on Google. So back to the main dashboard, let's take a look at your products. This is where the campaign data for your products will be tracked so you can keep an eye on your impressions, clicks, ad costs, conversions, conversion value, what campaign your product belongs to, the campaign status of the product, possible issues, and the action button. The action button lets you configure the Google fields of each product. These Google fields are additional details that Google needs about your products. On the top, you select the Google product category your product belongs to. This is so Google can recognize your products easier and help align your ads more relevantly to search terms by potential customers. The next fields are to narrow down the product details for Google. The types of options appearing here will be the ones you have set up in your OpenCart store. For example, let's take the color option setting. If your product has more than one type of option, like color and size for instance, this is where you need to select the title of your color setting. Underneath you have three additional product detail fields. First is the size system, where you need to select the sizing system your products fall under. The size type is about determining the general type of size your product includes, such as regular, big, or tall. The last field is to select the size option of your product if it comes in different sizes, for example, available sizes, or choose your size. Okay, moving on. Next is the condition of your product. Is it used, refurbished, or new? What type of age group best describes the perfect audience for your product? Is it a gender-based product? or it fits everyone. The next field is to select whether the product contains adult-only content. Below you have a couple of fields to configure whether your product is part of multiple items in a single package, or if it's an item in a product bundle. So, these are the product details Google needs to recognize your category better. Now, to assign certain products to a campaign, so they go live, you need to select them here and then click the Select Campaigns button. The field here will contain multiple campaigns you may have, so you can select the campaign you want and then the green Confirm button underneath. Great! Notice the notification above says to allow up to three business days for the Merchant Center team to review your products. Okay, so this is the section where you get reports for each product, and this is where you get reports for each campaign. Your list of campaigns will let you monitor overall status, impressions, clicks, costs, conversions, and conversion value. And below all of your campaigns, you will have the totals of each value for all of the campaigns put together. Finally, the settings tab. This is where you enable or disable your Google Shopping extension. Also, you can select the time interval you want to see reports for. It can be set for the last 30 days, last week, all time, today, yesterday, and more. The debug logging is a feature for developers, and underneath you have the connection status for your extension with the Google Merchant Center. You can disconnect your account from here. And last, these Chrome settings for the periodical syncing of your open cart products with the Google Merchant Center. These are the settings you use to set the time interval of your automatic fetching for your product data. So that's basically it. You set up your Google Shopping extension for OpenCart. You will see a new section in your marketing menu called Google Shopping, where you can access the extension settings for each active OpenCart store you have. Time to start selling. Let us know if you have any questions and give us a quick like if it's no trouble. And subscribe to the channel to get more insights and OpenCart tips for your store. Thanks for watching.